Greetings hobbies, this is our Sansa Vool, and VDMs are getting even better because it's even easier to sculpt them than I first thought. So this got pointed out to me after my last video on VDMs, and I just wanted to go through this so everyone was really aware of how easy it is to actually make VDMs in Blender, because they've put a really nice add-on in the files that you get for VDMs. So if you haven't seen my previous video, go check it out, there's a link in the description. But other than that, if you go to blender.org and come to what's new and scroll all the way down, there is a file, once you go past all the hair stuff, that deals with VDMs. And if you scroll down here, you've got this link where it says download demo file. And if you download that, you get access to this add-on. So in Blender, all you need to do is edit, preferences, and then go to install. Go to your file that you downloaded. And then if you double click on creating brushes, there's this add-on VDM brush maker. So you install that. And once you've got that done, you'll have this option here, which you just need to click and then save your preferences. And once you've done that, if I just delete the default cube. And once you've done that, if you just press N to bring out the end panel, you've got your tools and down here, you've got your VDM brush baker and if you just click plus to create a sculpting plane you've already got your sculpting plane ready to go and it's already got if you come to your modifiers the multi-resolution setup that you need and you can change the amount of levels on this if you need to. After that it's just sculpting as I went through in the previous video as I said I do recommend masking off the edges of this plane so that you don't have any weird distortions around that edge but that's entirely up to you. You might be more controlled and better at sculpting than I am and I'm just going to set up this sort of metal tear. Then once you're happy, come back to your tool menu, scroll down, and you've got this option to bake your VDM brush. And you don't have to fiddle around with anything this way. There's no settings change. All you need to do is set up your name. So I'm gonna call this metal tear, leave the map resolution at 512 if I was you, and then just click render and create VDM. And you'll see this has worked everything out. You'll note that the name has turned red. That's generally a way that I've seen that this is done. And then if you come up here to your brushes, if I go to my draw brush, we now have this metal tear as our brush. So I'm just gonna come back into object mode and just create a new object for this. So let's shift an A mesh and then let's bring in a quad sphere. Let's G and X that over to the side and then I'm going to press control and two to subdivide it a bit more. In fact, I probably need to do that a little bit more than that. Let's have a look. So let's up that to three and then let's apply that vertex. That might do, we'll see how this goes. But either way, you've got this brush now. So if I come into sculpt mode, I can go to my brushes. We've got the option of our normal brush and our metal tear brush. And then it automatically has changed all of the details that we need up here. So the strength is set to one. We've got this as an area plane and a vector displacement. We've changed the fall off to constant. And that means that we can now draw our tears on here. This probably could do with another layer of subdivision just to make that a little bit sharper. And then we could just add our tears on here. I might actually bring that down by one and then I can do that a little bit faster. And you can have them obviously going over the top of each other and things like that. So you can get this really broken, torn up surface really quickly. Now there are a couple of things to make your life a nicer place. For example, at the moment we've only got one brush here, but you might end up with lots of them. Obviously we've got our names at the bottom, but you might want a picture for this. If you do want a picture for this, just come back to your original plane. You can do a nice render if you want. I'm just gonna be a bit lazy and use the snipping tool from Windows, cause well, why not? All you need to do is have a basic image. So I'm just gonna save that. And then when you come back into sculpt mode and you have a look at your brushes, if you just click here, find your image, click accept, and then what will happen is you'll get that image there so you can now select between them. So that's quite nice to do. The other thing that you might want is that you might want actually the VDM of this because you want to have that saved. That's easy to do as well. Just come to rendering. For your render results, click up here and you'll see you've got your metal tear there. If you then just click on image, you can click save a copy and you've got a copy of that saved. Alternatively, this is actually automatically saving this image wherever you've got your file saved to. And if you don't have your file saved, then it's saving it in your temp folder on your C drive. So for example, I've got my Blender tutorial folder here. And because I'd saved my file originally as this, you've now got my output VDM and you've got your image there. So you've automatically got this, but it's quite an easy way to save it to another place if you just go to that image and save a copy. So there's a couple of ways of you getting this and being able to reuse your brush from somewhere else or even send it to someone. So there we have it, an even quicker way of making your VDM brushes. Thanks to Blender putting this on their website. Have a great day, guys.